Hey Fire Energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages here. We're going to take a look and see um, what is it that you need to know about your romantic connection or your, you know, current relationship. So what is it that you might need to know about your individual, the energy, the relationship. Let's see if the cards can caution you against something or, you know, might try to hint at or predict something for you here, guys. Um, this is going to be a general reading, therefore the message is going to be general. Please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So I'm going to give the cards a shuffle um, and see what's coming up for you. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, the Five of Swords here. and the ten of cups okay so what is it that you need to know about this connection here i can see it's a bit of a slower burning connection especially with the knight of cups energy so look the connection may not be traveling along at a pace that you're normally accustomed to or comfortable with maybe you feel as though your romantic um partner and the overall pace of the relationship is not as progressive or there's not as much forward mem uh, momentum as you'd want it to be. I do feel like there is strong romantic energy with the Knight of Cups, but be careful because I feel like maybe the cards are cautioning you against um, romanticizing this connection or romanticizing someone here, okay? Be careful that you're not you know, you're not falling in love with the idea or the potential of who this person is or the potential of what this relationship could be. Okay, make sure you're seeing what's in front of you and not uh, and what's there and not what you want to be there. Okay, so make sure you're not just glancing at this connection with a pair of rose colored glasses on. Because um, the Knight of Cups is someone who goes to extreme lengths, guys, to, um, you know, to, to chase love and um, extreme lengths here um, to pursue love and romance and sometimes he can be very unrealistic here in his approach so for a lot of you um, be careful that you're not building up unrealistic expectations as well um, and make sure that you are being realistic and not idealistic here because some of you you may be idolizing your person here um, for others of you, I feel like the Knight of Cups brings in a different message. I can see that the person that you're currently with, I feel like is exactly who you wanted um, and is exactly who you need right now. Um, I'm, I'm seeing that the person, this person here wears their heart on their sleeve. There's someone who is, um, there's someone who is very brave, very confident, um, very courageous here. But they also have a very fragile, sensitive, emotional side to their energy as well. Um, for some of you, I'm, the message that I get is to follow your heart, okay? So, um, especially with the Five of Swords, because it's mental energy and the Knight of Cups is all about, you know, the emotional realm. Some of you, I feel like you have to allow your heart to guide you um, to where you need to go. So, the message, especially with the Knight of Cups, I feel like is to follow your heart. For others of you, I can see that you're you're getting an actual message within potentially weeks or even months from this reading here I'm seeing that there is a special message of love that comes in for you now this message feels like it might even have an invitation attached to it or it even could be a proposal um, or an engagement of some sort it could also be news this news could come from your romantic partner or it might be concerning you and your relationship for some of you I am seeing a possible engagement or um, an invitation here um, to some sort of social event where I feel like it's going to be extremely memorable here, but you're coming up as their plus one, like you're coming up as their partner here. That's how you're attending. So, um, yeah, an important the arrival of important uh, news that comes your way concerning your you know your um, love and romantic connection here. Now, with the five of swords kind of energy, okay. For those of you that are experiencing friction or complication in your relationship, the Five of Swords here tells me that the best thing you can do is talk it out, guys, okay? Because I can see that there is some, uh, maybe the two of you have barriers when it comes to communicating. Maybe the two of you have very different styles of communication. Maybe you guys just don't communicate enough. There's a lot of disagreement, a lot of conflict, just a lot of not seeing eye to eye on certain things. Um, but the best thing you can do is... Fight the battle, but in order to fight the battle, it's just to talk it out, okay? Talk it out, clear the air here. 
and even if for those of you if you might have an upcoming um, upcoming friction or complication again just remember that the best thing you can do is just to um, vocalize yourself and just talk it out guys here yeah. okay for those of you that are single I feel like the fool here is telling us that you're in a very powerful position to manifest the type of person that you want to bring into your life and this person is going to be very fun very sexy exciting adventurous very charming he or she is the type of individual who is um they have a they have this ability to sort of leave the past be behind here not hold a lot of regrets um, and to live in the moment here okay um, for others of you I feel like um, this person that you're currently with for some of you the person that you're currently with I don't feel like they want to settle down right now okay and that's not for that's not for all of you but it's just for some of you because the fool's energy is someone who is very um, very free spirited he's very carefree um, he's got no safe like he's got no harbor or anchorage here so I feel like your person he doesn't want to just settle down just yet or you may be in a relationship or for those of you that are in a relationship and you're starting out as a bit of a, like a, a casual arrangement type of situation um, the fool is someone who uh, you know you feel like the message here is don't put too much pressure because there is a possibility that something that starts out you know on a very casual type of um basis or like a friends with benefit type of situation will have the ability to become so much more okay so don't be so quick you know to to put a title or to put a label to it because the fool is someone who's carefree and very free spirited but he, he or she may not want to settle down or label it just yet but once the two of you get to know each other and explore this connection, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity um, to, you know, um, to not only go the distance with this person, um, but also build a very stable, loving, committed relationship here. We have the Ten of Cups, and for some of you, I feel like the Ten of Cups, I mean, this is the storybook romance tarot card here. Um, so you drew a good card here. For some of you, I feel like the person that you are with, okay, um, this is going to be a happily ever after. This person is some is a person that you're going to end up with. You're going to settle down with, possibly get engaged to this person. Um, there might even be a marriage engagement proposal here. You could also end up having children, boy or a girl. I'm also seeing twins for some of you here. Um, but again, because of the the alignment with the Ten of Cups, I feel like for some of you, um, you this may not happen as quickly okay we spoke about you know um the the slow burning energy okay the they might not pop the question until years once the two of you have been together okay so the ten of cups tells me that although this is a slow burning connection here and it might start off slowly or it might start off you know um unconventionally in many ways here but I feel like if you are patient with yourself and with this person here, I do feel like this connection here is going to go the distance. And um, this person that you're with, he or she, may just end up your happily ever after here. And I'm seeing you, you know, settling down, getting married, getting engaged, having children, you know, that white picket fence, family pet, all of that, guys. All right, and these are your messages. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.